Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. This is Sunday School for ages 12 to 14 for August 9, 2020. Be a doer, not just a hearer. Derek didn't want to disappoint his mom, but he knew he did so every day. He would come home and do his homework and then immediately begin playing video games. When he began playing, he was hypnotized. The sights and noises overwhelmed every other sound as he concentrated on the next mission of the game. Today, it was the same routine. He concentrated so much that it, that it drowned out the sound of his mom calling him to take out the trash. When he finally did hear her, he acknowledged her voice by saying, yes, but he didn't move from his seat. He was in the middle of an important moment in the game. Derek, you didn't hear me calling you? No, mom, I didn't hear you. Derek said, if you didn't hear me, then why did you answer? His mom shook her head. It's one thing to say you hear, but it's another thing to listen. When you really listen, you do what I say. Immediately, he remembered a scripture where God says, How can you say you love me if you don't do what I say? Derek got up from the couch and thought hard about what his mom just told him as he made his way to the kitchen to take out the garbage. The Bible says to honor father and mother so that your days will be long. This is what pleases God. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7 verse 13, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So God is looking at our character more than what we say. The Bible says, How can you love me and keep not my commandments? Or how can you love me and hate your brother? So God is looking at not just our, our words, but our actions. The Bible says, uh, talks about faith without works is dead. So we want our faith to match up with what we do. The memory verse is found in James chapter 1, verse 22. It says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. And that's James 1 and 22. The scripture today is found in James chapter 1, verses 19 through 27. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. 
Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man, beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. What a blessing. The Bible learning says, hearing and doing the word. Hearing is passive. Sounds are normally in one's environment. Although one may not pay particular attention to those sounds, an individual may intentionally or unintentionally block out sounds by focusing attention elsewhere. Listening, which James describes, is active. An individual intentionally focuses on focuses attention on those sounds or words and consciously processes them for some purpose. The brain is engaged in remembering those sounds or words for, or for follow-up in action or recall. How to apply God's word. 1. Read the word. 2. Believe the word. 3. Trust the word. And 4. Live what you read in the word all day, every day. Keeping it real. Be a doer, not just a hearer. Derek heard the words of his mom, but he didn't do them. He was too distracted. Okay now, heads up. What's up in your life with the word? The word says to do what's pleasing to God. But there's a battle. Is this cool? Who's going to be watching? There are so many distractions. Will you listen to God or will other cares and worries drown out his words? Don't just read the word. Do what the word says. See how God works for your good and his glory. There's a scripture in the Bible. That says Matthew chapter 7 verse 24. Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended, and the floods came. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. God wants us to be wise, and seek his wisdom in everything we do, and trust him. Take him at his word. When he says to do something, obey him. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.